Greetings, everybody. This is Lord Jeremy, and I have a new subscription box. It's your toy box. Um, I was very excited to get this because unlike other subscription boxes, like uh, Loot Crate and Nerd Block, that just sends you the same thing everybody else is getting, this particular one here, you get to choose from a list of over a hundred things, and he sends you Trevor, this man Trevor. Let me see where it is in here. Yeah, Trevor Taylor, right there. He sends you near vintage or vintage stuff uh, akin to what you checked off on your list. So you're guaranteed to get stuff that maybe you had when you were a kid or just maybe stuff that you're totally into. Um, so I'm a toy collector and I was very excited about this from Go. So here it is. I did open it already. Um, I couldn't wait. <laughs> it was, uh, and my son wanted to see it and I didn't know where my camera was. So so there. But here's the thing. Let me talk a little bit about Trevor. Uh, he started this. I think he's out of Florida. And uh, he seems like a very cool guy. I've already emailed him like uh, once. And I just sent another one out. Um, and he gets back to you like right away and if you want to all you know alter your list or change it at any point um, He's like all game about that. Yeah, sure thing. You just email him any uh, You know things that you were kind of hoping for and uh, I think he's very accommodating so You know, that's uh, that's it for Trevor. So uh, It's powered by crate joy. So I think um, I'm gonna have on the description the website you can go to to get this. These things are run about $25, free shipping in the US, and uh, that's great, because I think you get like, it feels to me like you get way more than $25 in this box. Okay, so since I've already seen it, but you haven't, um, and that's again, is the cool thing about this, uh, you know, you never know who is getting what in their boxes because it's catered to the individual. So um, I'm going to keep it secret for you. Now, usually there's uh, bubble wrap in here, but my son's already attacked that. So uh, I'm just going to pull things out at random for you. Let me see. Okay, first up we have a little trans it says, it says here transformers figure i really don't know who this is i've i gotta look it up more um i want to say megatron but i'm i'm unsure he has like a beard it looks like but uh he's a little cool he's gonna look awesome up on my shelf uh, but okay that's him let me see oh here's another one Oh yeah, we got a clone trooper, all right? Now, many of you or my friends know that I collect Star Wars and uh, I'm not normally as big on the, you know, the, the prequel series, but I do like troopers of any shape and size and color scheme. So this particular blue one here will go great with my collection. All right, so let me see what else we got. Um, oh yeah, this here, this, this is a, this is actually a vintage Luigi toy. I looked it up. I don't know where it came from. Let me see. Hang on a second. Um, yeah, 1989. Um, it looks like it might have been like a McDonald's Happy Meal toy, but, um, I love it. This is one of my favorite things. It was my son's absolute favorite thing that we got out of this box. Uh, but it still works. It's one of those pull back and go little things, and he like turns around in little circles and goes nuts. But uh, I like this. I'm actually going to put him up near our gaming, uh, you know, center and uh, just a decoration with all of our amiibos and and Lego Dimension stuff and Disney Infinity stuff and everything else you can think of. But very cool. I really like this guy. What do we got here? Oh, yeah. All right, this was my favorite. Look at this. 
It's Joker from the Batman animated series. Uh, this was voiced by Mark Hamill, and uh, who's like Luke Skywalker in Star Wars. Best Joker voice ever. Best Joker ever, in my opinion. And look at him. He's got a trench coat. He's got his hat on. He's look. He's up for mischief right there. Look at that. Yes. He is fantastic. I'm so happy I got him. Clearly, I clicked off DC as one of the things that I liked. Um, with Luigi here, I clicked off Nintendo. Obviously, Transformers and then Star Wars. So... You can see where this is. This all goes. So you do get what you clicked off on your list. Um, oh yeah, this is another one I really love. This little Yoda PVC. Um, and he's like fantastic. Look at him. I actually, I mean, as, with all the Star Wars toys I have, I actually don't have a Yoda. So um, he's just the perfect size and he'll look good on my displays. So I was very excited to have him. So very cool. All right, so one, two, three, four, five. Let's see what else is in here. Oh yeah, before I take out the bigger one, I clicked on comic books. Now, I don't actually know these. This is a uh, Bloodhound from DC Comics. Um, I've actually never heard of that, and I'm, I'm an avid comic reader. And this is uh, Stone. From Image, I don't really read Image, but uh, but there you go. Um, okay, and now here's the biggie one. Let me see. This is Inferno from the Autobots Transformers. I think this is from the Energon collection. Um, he is just absolutely fantastic. I was really happy to get him. Uh, he actually transforms and merges with Sunspot, I believe. So I'm going to have to hunt down Sunspot so I can merge them together and put them on my shelf. But that's it. Like, you get like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, anywhere between seven to ten things. All right. If you count the comics, it's, you know, eight. But, but that's it. That's everything that was in my box this month. So, um, yeah, that's your toy box. Now, every 10th box you, you resubscribe for, you get a giant mega box, which, again, unlike Loot Crate and Nerd Block, where every, every month somebody gets it, but it's random and only one person gets it, you're guaranteed that every 10th resubscribe. So I really like that, and I'm actually looking forward to uh, getting that um, nine months from now. So... <laughs> uh, but, um, yeah, so that's your toy box. All right, guys, thanks. Here's just a little quick look at what they look like out of the bag. Yeah, I really like that Inferno. He looks awesome. Um, but and that clone trooper, man, he's so articulated, it's ridiculous. He should be like a Spider-Man figure or something. Very cool. Ha! Lord Jeremy!